How's it going guys, Deandre here, and today I'm gonna to talk about the Huawei Watch GT. I've been using this for about two months now, and I wanna mention that this is not a smartwatch, this is a fitness watch. So you can't really install apps, reply back to your messages, or change songs. Huawei is using their own software called LightOS, so whatever apps is installed, that's what you're stuck with. So the best thing about this watch is the battery life. Now I've been using this in different tiers. So the first time I used it was just light notifications and I just barely used it. I mainly use it as just a regular watch. So just looking at the time and that's it. With that usage, I got about 17 days. That's over two weeks. In the next test, I added more notifications and I started recording gym sessions. So that took me down about 14 days. That's still two weeks. For my last test, I added all my notifications and I did more gym sessions. So that took me down about 10 to 12 days. Now charging isn't that bad, it took about an hour and a half to two hours to get a two week charge. So if I think about it, I would charge this watch twice a month. I tried going back to your smartwatch and I really can't because of that battery life. I had to charge it every other night, but with the Huawei Watch GT, I don't have to worry about that. The watch is really good looking with a classic design. It has a 1.39 inch AMOLED screen, so it's even good enough to use outdoors. One thing I noticed about tracking your sessions, when you're low on battery about 8-4%, to that's when it auto stops and saves battery. Now moving on to notifications, with bigger or well-known apps, you can see their icons so you can visually tell what app they're from. With smaller or less known apps, they're just paired up with a generic icon. With the past updates, everything has gotten much smoother and better, for example, with the icons. In the past, they were all pretty much stuck with the same icon, now you can actually tell where they're from. Even with the watch interface, everything is much smoother, the only lag I've gotten now is just switching watch faces, but then again, that's not going to affect your watch experience. To use the watch, you have to use a Huawei Health app. It's really organized and easy to use, and you can see a lot more information out of it. You can see all your fitness goals and all your sleeping habits. Now, the things I really want on this watch is more watch faces. I noticed that I'm just going back and forth to the same two or three watch faces, and I wish I just had more choices. The second thing is I want to add an app to one of the home pages. For example, I check how long I sleep every night, so instead of going into the menus, Finding the sleeping app, I can just add it into the home screen, swipe left to right, and I can see it right there. And the last thing is being able to change songs on the watch. Because when I'm at the gym, I don't want to pull out my phone too often or I just leave it on the floor. So when I want to change songs, I can just easily do it on my wrist. Overall, it's a great looking watch to have. And the main reason why I'm using it is because of the battery life. Again, this is not a smartwatch. If you really need to download apps and reply back to your messages, this is something you should skip. But if you like to track your sleep, your fitness, and just get notified when you get a message, then this is something you should consider. So that is my take on the Huawei Watch GT. The battery life is super amazing. And remember to like, share, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.